Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. Yes, what you're experiencing is indeed real life. That's the real price of XRP on your screen right now at $1.13. Um, now, I'll note that uh, just about uh, 25 to 30 minutes ago, uh, we did see the 24-hour high and the cycle high to this point anyway, uh, price of XRP at $1.25. That just happened, and it's pulled back a little bit. Uh, nothing to be afraid of. This is not going to go up in a straight line. It, it just won't. But I got to tell you this. It is just about impossible to find reputable analysts who don't think XRP is going to hit a new all-time high this cycle. And I want to share with you some of what uh, th these analysts are saying because and it's certainly more believable now for obvious reasons. I mean, I, I always thought it was believable regardless, but uh, there's broad expectation of XRP hitting double-digit price action this market cycle. So $10 plus. Now, I don't make price predictions, and I'm not a chart analyst myself, so I don't pretend to know, but I absolutely find that believable and certainly plausible. Uh, here we are, XRP above a dollar for the first time in three years. Did you really think it would never happen? I'm sure it felt like that to some people, but here we are. This is real life. And as I've always said, you know, either you have exposure to XRP when it starts running or you don't. And my God, it's up. Look at this. 30% up 30% in the last 24 hours. In the last seven days, XRP is up 107%. So either you had exposure before, maybe even had XRP back right before the election when it was 49 cents. Uh, or you didn't. It ran 49 cents in zero seconds flat to a buck 25. So to think that we couldn't see double-digit price action, uh, I, th I think that if you don't think that can happen this market cycle, you, you are lacking sufficient imagination, and you're lacking sufficient historic precedent. So I I'm going to share with you some stuff, but my God, what an exciting time to be an XRP holder. But uh, before going further, I do want to be clear, I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. Uh, at the moment I'm recording this, let's see, it's 9.34 a.m. Central Time, which is my time zone. Saturday, November 16th, 2024, XRP just blowing the rest of the market out of the water, substantially outperforming just about everything under the sun, certainly in terms of large caps, uh, and so you do have Bitcoin here, uh, ninety thousand four hundred ninety-three bucks. Uh, you got the uh, crypto fear and greed index, eighty-six out of one hundred. So we are in extreme greed, but uh, it's certainly possible for that to persist, uh, persist rather for some time. You, you know, uh, even when you're in a bull market, it's not like the first time you see extreme greed. Oh, time to sell. That's not quite how this works. Because <laughs> frankly, money's going to cycle through this space, and I have made it very clear my position, pushing it back against the irrational XRP haters for years on end, the ones that said it, it just doesn't make sense to have XRP in your portfolio. Uh, and it's like, they're acting as though money, they understand like how money flows. A lot of the, even like the the, um, the widely uh, followed chart analysts who hate XRP, and there are a lot of them, uh, you know, they'll acknowledge how money flows through the crypto ecosystem, which is, you know, flows into Bitcoin first and large caps, mid caps, small caps, rinse and repeat. They'll acknowledge that. But then they'll act like, but it skips over XRP because reasons. Yeah, no, it works. It flows like that, but not to XRP because reasons. You freaking idiot sticks. Now, here you have TechDev. Uh, he's not one of those people. Uh, massive following, though, 475,000 followers. And he certainly gets how money flows through the space. He shared this in this post. Bitcoin, large caps, mid caps, micro caps. There you go. And so I would have written small caps, but hey, fair enough. It's fine. Uh, same concept here. And he says, understand crypto's capital flow and you'll understand what's about to happen to the alt market. Yes, exactly. And I'm going to show you another chart from another person. And by the way, almost 100% of this video is exclusively about XRP. I just got a couple things I want to share with you first to properly prime here because we are in this moment where, um, yeah, alts are, are about to start heating up. It makes sense that XRP is doing what it's doing right now. Not surprising. It was uh, just, it was surprising people literally four years ago. It's like clockwork here. Every four years. It's just truly astonishing here. But you should expect it based on historic precedent and liquidity flows. Um, and then somebody wrote to him and said, probably true one or two bull runs ago. Uh, now with meme coins and several coins outperforming ETH is a bit different. Okay, that guy, some, some guy named Trendrider, don't know who he is. Uh, I respectfully disagree with that. Uh, tech dev is right. And he gets a little bit more precise here. And I wanted to share this. And, and you'll see why in just a second. So he wrote, memes have also run with Bitcoin in the past. There have always been isolated outperformers. 
flow statement was market wide. And so then he clarified, he says this would be more accurate. Bitcoin then flows into total two. And so uh, the total two would be the entire uh, crypto market excluding Bitcoin. And then total three, it flows into total three after that. Uh, so this is the order of events and the way money flows through the system. Total three, that, that chart would be the entire asset class except for Bitcoin and ETH. And then it flows into others. And so he's getting more precise there. And um, others is all of the, uh, the, it's the chart that shows all of the, like the entire crypto asset class except for the top 10 coins by market cap. That's roughly speaking correct. You can nitpick it if you want to. That's roughly speaking correct. And so again, to think that XRP wasn't going to be a part of this, never computed. Especially when you looked at real adoption. Number of wallets increasing consistently even while the SEC was attacking the damn thing. Uh, it, you know, it, trending, not perfectly in straight line, but developer activity trending upwards, total value locked trending upwards. It was always clear that adoption was going in the right direction for XRP. So, so, so to think that we wouldn't eventually see XRP over a dollar ever again, and to think we'd, we'd never have a new all-time high, oh, it's coming, and probably in short order. This is the time to be excited about all of this. There's this post from chart analyst Mustache. And uh, this, is, this chart is the crypto total market cap excluding Bitcoin and ETH. So we wrote hashtag altcoins. And this is exciting. And think about this. Look at what I'm sharing on the screen here, if you can, if you're not driving or something. And then consider XRP. Oh, it just happens to be running, right? Just happens to be running. Of course it's running right now. Everything moves in tandem, which is why it was always a ridiculous concept that XRP wasn't going to go with the market yet. Idiot sticks. Anyway, so Mustache says hashtag altcoins. Looks like we're going to get a pump weekend for altcoins. Total three just broke out. Relative strength index looks also great, to be honest. And you can see the trend line that he drew breaking above. If this is indeed the case, and this is the moment, things are only going to get hotter. Now, of course, not perfectly in a straight line. XRP will pump and it'll pull back, but it's going to keep trending up. And then you'll have individual days like this one that are ridiculously exciting with huge jumps. Absolutely monstrous jumps. You should fully anticipate that that's what's going to happen based on historic precedent. Uh, and so take a look at this. There's this post. This was actually from uh, chart analyst Tony Severino yesterday. And it's just, it's funny. It's just gotten even more exciting since then. But he wrote uh, yesterday morning, XRP is printing its largest white candlestick in the past three and a half years with a 70% gain on the month so far. Think about that. And, and now we're at a point where, as I just showed you earlier in the video, a hundred point nine percent now at the time recording this over the last seven days and right at 100% for the last month. Uh, it's, it's think, look at how much it changed in a day. That's why I keep saying either you have exposure before this goes or you don't. And that's why, unfortunately, it's hard for people. That's why you buy when the price is going down and when it's scary and people are panic selling. That's the point of the most opportunity. There's this post from chart analyst Bobby A. Everyone is expecting the price of XRP to reject this level as it did in July of last year when the court case was finalized. In my opinion, that will not happen now. The macro chart looks completely different this time around. And he posted that yesterday morning. Uh, and he's correct. And I want to just briefly comment on that because I remember when the price of XRP essentially doubled in a matter of like several hours, July 13th of last year, when XRP got its legal clarity. And then it spent months trending back downward. Uh, but that was a very different environment. That wasn't, I mean, 2023 was fun for fun to me in crypto overall. Don't get me wrong. It was a lot better in 2022 with the FTX collapse and all that. That, that was the bottom of the bear market, right? <clears throat> so yeah, fine. A more fun year, 2023. But after that, if that legal clarity occurred, the market was trending downward, led by Bitcoin. It moved downward. XRP moved in tandem. XRP has never run to a new all-time high by itself. And that's not surprising. And there's nothing wrong with that. And it's not scary. So when it did that, I, I, that's what I said a, over a year ago on this channel. I was like, guys, it doesn't matter. Either we're going to have a crypto bull run, in which case XRP participates, or we're not. But if we're going to have a crypto bull run, XRP goes, period. And wouldn't you know it? So we blasted through that level because what XRP get to in July of last year? Uh, what was, was the peak like 92 or 93 cents, something like that? We blasted through that. Duh. It's exactly what I was saying over a year ago. It's common sense. I'm not even a chart guy. I'm not a finance guy. I'm a dude. There's nothing special about me. I'm just applying common sense here. XRP is going to hit a new all-time high and it is going to enter price discovery and it's going to melt faces. And I will not be surprised if it hits double digits this market cycle. I will not be surprised if that happens. It's not a prediction because I don't know, but I'll not be surprised if that's the case. When XRP goes, oh my God, it goes with force. Spends he spends years moving sideways and downward mostly. People crap all over it. And then they're surprised every time it goes. Of course. 
there's also this post from Bobby A said XRP will be trading in dollars shortly. Yep. So it's fun to see these movements where, you know, you're not just moving by pennies in a day, you're moving by, you know, dimes effectively. Yeah, well, you could have individual days where you are moving by dollars. Don't be surprised if and when that happens. Uh, here's a post from chart analyst Crypto Wizard. He posted this this morning before we had some of the most recent fun price action anyway. Uh, XRP had just hit a dollar this morning. And he said, you know where we're going. $1.32. That's what he's targeting in the short term, mind you. Ultimately, yes, much higher. And wouldn't you know, we've gotten pretty close to that. So I don't know what the price is by the time you're watching this. I don't know if there's some sort of pullback and it's a little bit lower than where I'm at now. Uh, or if it even goes below a dollar. Uh, or, or if it's just blasting up higher, it's a buck fifty. Who the hell knows? I don't pretend to know. But I will tell you, even if it goes a little bit lower in the short term, it doesn't matter. The trend is upward. We are in a bull run. It won't matter. People will treat those dips as buying opportunities. As I told you, when XRP was 28 cents at the bottom in June of 2022, and I've been saying it for years, nobody wants XRP when it's cheap, but once it costs way, way, way more, that's when people want it because they feel, they'll feel it safer. It'll feel safer. Oh, it's going now. It'll probably just keep going. Whatever's happening, it's just, oh, it's just going to happen forever. That's, <laughs> that's exactly what's happening here. And people will want it even more if, if, if XRP does hit 10 bucks or more, more people will want it then than want it now. I know it sounds stupid, but that's how humans behave. There's this post. Oh, this is awesome. So this is from uh, Chart Analyst Crypto Insight UK. It said, on average, XRP dominance has a continuation of around 740% when it reclaims the 1.66% level. Uh, let me pause to note here the chart on your screen. This is not uh, an XRP USD chart. This is um, an XRP market cap dominance percentage chart that's what's on your screen here so it shows the percentage of the uh, market that xrp uh, has captured and so at the time he shared this uh xrp was at looks like 1.84 percent and he posted this just this morning 152 a.m central time which is my time zone and so again he said on average xrp dominance has a continuation of around 740 percent when it reclaims the 1.66 percent dominance level okay we're above that we are above that. So he's saying the normal continuation, he says, 740%. So he says, if this plays out at current prices, this would put XRP's market cap at $444 billion, around $8 per XRP. I won't be surprised. What the hell's the market cap now? What's around 60? Yeah, 62, $62.6 billion, roughly. So the idea of it going to $444 billion, not crazy. I mean, look at ETH. ETH's at $371 billion, and it's it's safely below its all-time high, which I think was what, about, was about $4,861.29 yeah, $4, according to LiveCoinWatch. The idea of XRP getting up to these price levels, as I keep insisting, it is not crazy. I don't know if it's going to happen, but it's safely grounded in reality. If you think that it's possible to happen, yeah, I, I firmly agree. That perspective is safely grounded in reality, and it's going to result in life-changing wealth for so many people. Uh, he read a post from chart analyst Steph is Crypto. He also believes double digits. Oh, they are coming. $33 XRP soon. Don't know if it's going to get hit, but if enough money flows into the crypto space, maybe. I, I don't know. I'm not, I don't make predictions like I keep saying, but you got to admit we've seen crazier stuff in crypto. And here we have it at just a little over a dollar at this point. It's going to look cheap. It's going to look cheap. I understand it looks you know, expensive compared to when it was 49 cents within the last couple weeks. Fine. But it's going to, the, the price now, I'm willing to bet it's going to look pretty damn cheap in the future. Here we have a post from chart analyst E. Greg Crypto. I like what he wrote here. XRP confirmed kaboom. <laughs> That's good. It says XRP's market cap is closing above FIB.702, uh, $51.35 billion. And I will pause to note here. Uh, he posted this this morning at 7.15 a.m. Uh, so it's certainly price of XRP has run up a bit since then. And he says, uh, and it has reached FIB.786, which is $60 billion. It is also breaking through a multi-year ascending trend line that goes back to 2017. This super bullish XRP. <laughs> he had a little rocket mojo, so I guess you're supposed to read it as rocket this super bullish XRP. Uh, if this monthly candle closes above FIB.786, we could see a confirmed market cap of $283.42 billion next for XRP. 
Let's calculate the market cap and what XRP price might be with a circulating supply of 57 billion XRP based on Fibonacci levels and potential price targets. And folks, all of this is safely grounded in reality. We'll see what happens. But yet, if you think that any of these levels could potentially be hit this market cycle, I'd say, yeah, that makes sense. And so here he has Fib 1.618. Uh, that'd be a market cap for XRP of $283.42 billion. And that would put the price of XRP at $4.96. And then there's FIB2. 2.0. Market cap for XRP at that would be $577.86 billion with the price of XRP. Each XRP at $10.13. See, that's when people will be clamoring for it if we get up there. I mean, people are clamoring for it much more now than, you know, a couple weeks ago. But it's going to get more insane. <laughs> it's gonna get more insane. And demand will be increasing. Wait till the rest of the retailers get here and they find out that XRP exists. Just wait for it. Uh, then he says FIB 2.272. That would be a market cap for XRP at $959.66 billion, which would give XRP a price of $16.83. Now, I'll pause to note, the market cap for Bitcoin is $1.78 trillion. So, XRP would be about half of it at that level, but realistically speaking, I mean, I would certainly guess if XRP is ever going to get that high this market cycle, uh, the price of Bitcoin is going to be substantially higher. I, it just it leads the market, and then, you know, like I keep saying, money cycles through the space. So don't think that just because it's closer to Bitcoin that it can't happen. No, it, it could. That doesn't mean that it can't happen. Bitcoin would be worth way more, almost certainly. I don't know what that means. If Bitcoin goes to 150000 or it gets real crazy and gets up to $200,000, uh, do not know. Going to find out together. But the higher it goes, the more money will flow into uh, your beloved altcoins like XRP. And then the last one here, FIB 2.618, would be a $1.83 trillion market cap with a price per XRP of $32.11. So again, now that would be above where Bitcoin is now in terms of market cap, but don't think that it can't happen. And that doesn't mean that it would necessarily be flipping Bitcoin. I don't think XRP is going to flip Bitcoin, not this market cycle, if ever. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. I would be happy to be wrong. Uh, trust me, I'd be happy to be wrong. <laughs> XRP is my largest individual position. Been holding it for seven freaking years, as of tomorrow, actually. Um, and, and so, you know, Bitcoin be worth way more than that. So it doesn't mean that you have to believe XRP is going to flip it, which again, I, like I just said, I don't. Uh, if you have that much money flowing into XRP, th then Bitcoin must have gone way higher than what I would guess is most probable. Maybe does that mean it has gone to $250,000 or 300, something stupid like that, which is not my base case and not my expectation necessarily. I mean, if it does, hey, take it for what it's worth, folks. I, I just, I really hope that you're having a good time with this. I hope that you're as excited as I am. And at the time I'm recording this now, XRP is down a little bit, down to a buck away. Maybe it's be good to cap off the video with this, given that at least at the time I'm recording this, it's going down a bit. I, I don't care. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to continue to maintain my optimism and excitement because that's what makes sense. We're in a bull market here. Um, uh, is this, or maybe this is the one I wanted to highlight. Mm, or maybe what was this? Oh yeah, this, I, I, I think that answers it. Uh, XRP. So this is an XRP USD chart. This is from charting guy. The final boss might get some volatility around here. And he posted this just this morning, by the way. He says, if we get a slight dip, don't let it scare you. Appreciate it and accumulate. New highs are on the way. It's just a matter of time. Have perspective and patience. Yeah, so I think that's a good reminder in an exciting time like this. This is a true breakout. This is not a false pump. I can't find a chart analyst that thinks that this is not a very real breakout of a seven-year symmetrical triangle. I'm not seeing that from any of the analysts that I follow. They all agree, from what I've seen anyway, um, unless I missed something from somebody, uh, they're all say saying, from what I've seen, no, this is a true breakout. So not up in a perfectly straight line, but my God, the train has left the station, as they say. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up here. I'll check in with you a little bit later. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say, all right? That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.